Hello, this is the April 2012 video edition of the Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. I am Jeff Robinson, Senior Fiscal Analyst for the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. This video will cover the first 10 months of cash fiscal year 2012, July through April, and I will spend a little extra time discussing the reasons behind the significant net revenue growth experienced this past month. Iowa net general fund revenue increased 34.6% in April when compared to April 2011, with individual income tax, corporate income tax, and sales and use tax all showing significant double-digit percentage gains. Tax refunds issued in April decreased, and that also contributed to the net revenue growth. The dollar increase for April was $113.5 million, the third highest dollar growth month in the past 18 years. Turning to the situation year to date, net revenue has increased 4.5%. And for comparison, the March Revenue Estimating Conference, or REC, net revenue estimate for the fiscal year is positive 2.6%. But as has been the story this fiscal year, both the REC projection and the year to date growth are understating the true revenue growth rate due to a cigarette tax allocation change enacted during the 2011 legislative session. That change allocated the first $106 million of cigarette tax deposited in fiscal year 2012 to a fund outside of the state general fund. If I recalculate that March REC estimate without cigarette and tobacco tax revenue in the math, the estimated growth for the fiscal year adjusts to 4.8%. If I also calculate the year-to-date net general fund revenue growth without cigarette and tobacco tax, actual growth through March is 7.2%. So, ignoring the cigarette and tobacco tax deposit change, actual growth is now almost two and one half percentage points above the most recent REC projection. I will now take a look at net receipts by month over the most recent 13 months. For the following charts, the underlying numbers have not been adjusted for any calendar, law change, or processing issues. Revenue increase months are colored blue, decrease months are red. April 2012 was the second highest percentage growth month and third highest dollar growth month since at least 1994. The positive April follows a mildly negative March. Over on the left hand side of this chart, we can see that last April was negative when compared to April 2010. Individual income tax revenue is the most significant source of general fund revenue. April 2012's significant growth is due to strong income tax return final payments made when tax year 2011 tax returns are filed. The due date for tax returns this year was April 30. The withholding tax deposit component of individual income tax continues to be the only dull area of an otherwise bright fiscal picture. The rate of withholding growth over the past 12 months is only 2.8%, and at $75 million in annual growth, it is just half the level of growth 15 months ago. Sales and use tax revenue rebounded from the first negative month of the fiscal year and posted a 21.4% gain in April. The weak deposits in March 2012 and April 2011 likely contributed somewhat to the oversized April 2012 gain. Corporate tax deposits posted their fifth high double-digit increase month in a row and significant increases have been shown in 10 of the past 12 months. Corporate tax revenue has experienced a substantial turnaround starting May 2011 and has increased almost 41% over the period. April is traditionally the third of the three big tax refund months. Over the months of February, March, and April, tax refunds increased only 1.3%, and this has contributed significantly to the bright net revenue outlook for fiscal year 2012. While a significant number of tax refunds could remain to be processed in May, it is not likely that this positive story will change much over the remainder of the fiscal year. As mentioned earlier, April was the third highest dollar growth month since at least 1994. This April increase does come after a weak March, where revenue decreased 1%. More importantly, however, is the fact that the highest dollar growth month of all time was May of 2011 when net revenue increased to $137.7 million. This makes it unlikely that May 2012 will show significant growth in comparison to last year's record growth May, and perhaps it could be somewhat negative in comparison. 
Due to differences in due dates, taxpayer return submission rates, and the pace of Department of Revenue processing activity, April and May can show significant revenue growth swings. This graph shows the net general fund tax revenue for the months of April, May, and June from fiscal year 2000 through fiscal year 2012 in the case of April and through fiscal year 2011 for May and June. Observing the April bars on the left, you can see the black fiscal year 2012 is significantly larger than any of the previous Aprils depicted, and the green April 2011 bar was weak. May 2011, however, was quite strong compared to the previous two years, and it rivals the pre-recession record years of 2007 and 2008. While it is certainly possible that the month of May 2012 could exceed the month of May 2011, it seems that coming off of a strong April 2012 and facing a strong May 2011 for comparison, that some of the recent growth will dissolve as May unfolds. This final graph shows the annual general fund net revenue growth percent, excluding transfers, since fiscal year 1994. And it also has the REC estimate for fiscal year 2012 depicted along the right axis. The strong April reverses a slow decline in the year-over-year -year rate of growth that began last July, and that paints a much brighter picture of the present condition of the Iowa economy. To summarize, April 2012 was a near-record growth month and the current trend for general fund revenue now can be viewed in a brighter light. All major sources of general fund revenue, with the exception of withholding deposits, have shown good improvement in the most recent months, indicating the Iowa economy is expanding. I appreciate your interest in Iowa general fund revenue. Goodbye, and please check out the next monthly video memo that we will post in early June.